My precious friends, let's discuss about the kingdom of God, especially God's plan about the future through three windows. First window about salvation through Jesus in this present evil age. Second window is about thousand years of Jesus reign on earth. The third window is about new earth and new heaven. First one surely says salvation through Jesus. Of course, God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus the Messiah, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. And he added, save yourself from this corrupt generation. How many of us ever noticed Peter and disciples asked Jesus after his resurrection not about going to heaven. Rather they asked, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel now? For Jewish people, including Peter and all disciples, salvation is about the Messiah's rule on the earth. All the prophets wrote about it. It was a real hope that one day God's Messiah will rule the earth with the peace and prosperity. Jesus' answer to their question was marvelous. You don't need to know the dates or the times. The Father has kept these under his own authority. But soon you will receive the Holy Spirit and you will be my witnesses. Second window, I would like to talk about the Messiah's rule on the earth. He shall judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many people. They will no longer learn war anymore. Revelation chapter 20 For thousand years Satan will be born so he could not deceive nations anymore. Those who trusted in Jesus and his kingdom came to life and ruled with him for thousand years. This is the first resurrection. That time, climate will change. Isaiah chapter 35, desert and dry land will be glad. Wilderness will rejoice with gladness. People will no longer suffer from sickness and diseases. No blind or mute person will be there. Revelation 20 says, After this thousand years of rain, there will be a huge war because of Satan and his deception. Third window begins with the judgment. Next, I saw a great white throne and one sitting on it. Earth and heaven fled from his presence. Book of the life will be open and there will be judgment. Then I saw a new heaven and new earth. Speciality of that earth, there won't be any sea. Then I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, Coming down out of heaven with a voice, See, God's glory is with mankind, and He will live with them. Clearly, it is not about humankind being in heaven. Rather, God wants to be with a man. He always wanted to be with a man. Even in Garden of Eden, we can see, He walked with Adam every evening. At the end, New Jerusalem, holy city, will come down from heaven. Nations will walk by its glory. Kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to the sons of men. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Jesus' words. God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Open my eyes about the truth about your kingdom and about your Messiah Jesus the King. Father, may your light shine to see the truth about Jeremiah chapter 16 verses 19 to 20. In Jesus' name. Created using Paltoon.